I'm going to show you how to plot data in Desmos and also run a linear regression. So you'll notice that I've got some uh, data up here in Excel. So I have just a really simple data set, um, cups of coffee that people have consumed per day, and then the hours of sleep that they get per night. Um, I'm in Excel here. You can do this if you're in another spreadsheet program, um, Google Sheets or something like that. I'm just going to uh, click and select my data and then do control um, C to copy and I've got that up there in my white space so I'm just going to do control C to copy I'm going to go right over here to Desmos I've just opened up Desmos.com and I'm going to put my cursor in one of these um, blank lines and just hit control V so Desmos um, sifted through and it got rid of my two headings, replaced the headings with X1 and Y1, and then it plotted some data. So it does look like this data is uh, linearly related. So I can also find um, the equation of the best fit line. To do that, I'm gonna go down here into um, item number two, and I'm gonna ask Desmos to relate Y1 to the data values in X1. So I'm just gonna type here a Y followed by a one, automatically subscripts it. Then I'm gonna look for my tilde symbol. The tilde symbol on my keyboard is right next to the number one. So I had to go shift and then um, hit that key right next to number one above my tab button. So you need that tilde. So we want to approximate these values with um, the equation of a line. So I'm gonna use mx plus b. You could use ax plus b, but I'm gonna do mx. But my data, remember, was x1. If I arrow up here a little bit. So I do want x1 there. So I'm gonna go ahead and type a one there. Um, and then plus b. Notice it gave me an a intercept of zero right now, but I need to do plus and then b. So it gave me actually a, a line that looks pretty good. So if I look down here, um, just arrow down a little bit, it's given me um, some R values. That's my correlation coefficient. So the R value is negative 0.8779. We could test that statistically. Um, really, we probably need some more data, but it's not a bad fit. The negative sign in front tells me that I've got a slope that is negative, and that's exactly what I'm looking at. Um, I could also plot the residuals. That tells me how far each point is away from the line. So I could plot the residuals, and you can see that we've got this one point right here that's pretty far from the line. If you're doing some statistics, there's a lot of interesting things that you can do with those residuals, um, but what we really want maybe is the equation of that line. So I asked for the form y equals mx plus b, and it gave me the values of m and B in this box that I've highlighted. So I can go ahead and up here to my white space and write the equation. So Y is equal to M, which is negative 0.60, I'm just gonna call that 604, X plus B, so plus 8.6. Three, two, I'll just keep three decimal places. And then if we remember back to what each of my variables represented, X was the number of coffee cups per day, so cups of coffee per day, oops, and then Y was the hours of sleep. So we've got this relationship here. Um, if we take the number of um, cups of coffee that they drink, multiply that times negative 0 0.604, and add 8.324, then we can estimate the hours of sleep that somebody will get. So a really nice way to find a best fit line using Desmos and some data.